Hi everyone, this is Mohammed Kubaib. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about watermark in Azure Virtual Desktop. This is a new feature which is currently in public preview. So do not try in production until and unless Microsoft confirms the GA. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. If you want to learn more about Azure or Citrix or FS Logics technologies, you can check out my bestseller Udemy course, which is also available in Udemy for Business. So basically watermark it is a feature it will help you to prevent sensitive information being captured on client endpoints this is a very important feature for finance or healthcare customer to protect the data consider an example of banking customer where users are working on a remote desktop or vdi where they are working on an application inside the virtual desktop that application may consist of card data or user account details so a rogue user can capture the card data or uh, account details and he can do whatever he wants with those data. So in order to, to track who leaked this data or who uh, captured this data, when you enable watermark, it will help us to track down the user who took the information or who captured the data related to the card or account details. It is recommended to use screen capture protection along with watermark so that you will get a complete protection against any data being captured on the client devices. So when you enable watermark on Azure Virtual Desktop, so you will get a QR code which is displayed over here. So using this QR code, you will get a session details or connection ID. So with the help of log analytics or Azure Virtual Desktop Insight, you can get complete information about the sessions and you can track down the user details. One important point you need to keep it in mind is you need to use RD client. So once you enable watermark or screen capture protection, you cannot use web clients. So it is only supported through RD client. In order to configure watermark on Azure Virtual Desktop, first we need to download the group policy templates. So we need to go to this particular Microsoft link. Here we have an option to download the ADMX file. So here we need to select this link. So it will download the related group policy template. So once we have the template, we need to extract this template. So here we have a zip folder. So let's again do the extraction. So now we have a file called terminal server dot avd dot admx. So we need to copy this admx template to our policy definition folder in our domain controller. I have copied the ADMX template in the desktop of our domain controller. So I am going to copy this and paste it inside the policy definition folder. So this is my policy definition folder where all the ADMX templates related to the group policy is available. So I am going to paste over here. So now we have the ADMX temp. So similarly, we need to copy the ADML file as well inside ENUS folder in the policy definition location. So I'm going to copy this ADML. So now inside policy definition, I'm opening ENUS folder and I'm going to paste it over here as well. So now we have copied both ADMX as well as ADML in the policy definition folder. Let's create a group policy and we will configure the AVD watermark settings. So now I have launched group policy console. Here I have a OU which is AVD block capture. So I am going to create a group policy under this OU. I am going to name it as watermark. Let's go to the group policy and we will enable all the required settings related to the watermark. So here in the group policy console, we need to go to the computer configuration and then we need to select policies. Under that, we need to go to the admin template. Then we need to select Windows component. Here we need to select remote desktop services. So here we need to select remote desktop session host and then we need to select Azure virtual desktop. So here we have uh, options to configure the watermark. So as we can see here, there is an option called enable watermarking. 
so we need to open this particular setting and let's enable this policy so here we have our different parameters so the first one is QR code bitmap scale factor which is nothing but the size in pixel of each QR code dot so by default it will set for 4 however as per requirement you can change and then we have QR code bitmap opacity this represents how transparent the watermark is for example if you go to the watermark picture so as you can see here in the screen we have a watermark with the QR code so this particular setting defines how transparent is your QR code and then we have height and width so here you can define the height and width for the QR code so in this example I am going to keep it default and uh, let's apply and click OK now I am going to reboot my Azure Virtual Desktop so this is my Azure Virtual Desktops so let's perform the reboot of these VDAs so once it gets rebooted it will get all the group policies which we configured reboot is completed let's refresh this page and we will see whether our AVD machines are available or not as you can see now the VDA is available so let's open RD client and we will try to launch the VDA I have launched RD client so this is my workspace and this is my VDA icon so I am going to launch the VDA As you can see, I have entered my credential and I am going to click OK. So now my video is launching. As you can see in the background, there are watermarks which is nothing but QR codes over here. So this is appearing because of the group policy which we have configured for the watermark. So if you wanted to know the session details, we just need to simply scan this QR code. So it will provide us the session code or session details that we can use it in the log analytics or azure virtual desktop insight to get more details about the session so to do the demonstration i have connected my phone and i have mirrored the screen so now i am going to launch the camera and scan this qr code so my camera is opened and if you can see the moment i scan the qr code i will get the details about the sessions so if i go to view full text so this is my session details or session code so i can use this session code now in log analytics or azure virtual desktop insight if you go to the wvd watermarking article you can find the commands where you can enter the connection id which we got from the qr code and we can get the details about the sessions similarly from the insight also you can check the details so let's go to the log analytics and try to execute the command and we will see the details I am going to the log analytics and then I am going to select logs so here is the command which I copied which is WVD connection where connection ID contains so here we need to enter the connection ID which we got from the QR code so I am going to copy the entire command and then I am going to paste it over here and then we can click on run so it will pull all the details related to the particular session so if we expand we will get the username and all other details related to the client OS, client version, client type and public IP address of the client and the desktop uh, connection type etc etc so this is how you can track down the information related to the session using the watermark feature so the other method to get the session details is we need to go to the insight under insight we need to go to the connection diagnostics so here we have a option which is called which is called success rate of re-establishing a connection or connections mm -hmm. so if you scroll down we have a separate to blade where we can see first attempt connection id and the user details so you can compare the connection id which you got from the qr code or the watermark and you can see the user details etc so also you can export this and you can analyze further so if you export it to excel so it will give you the clear details related to the connection id username etc etc so let's open the excel sheet so as you can see so here we have the details the connection id which is this one and the username which is fs test 2 this is how you can track down the user details 
with the help of watermark or QR code which is captured because of the watermark feature.